Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Tutor Abhi. So in today's video, we are going to discuss about the topic hot point probe measurement. So let's see what is the hot point probe measurement. It is a simple method which is used to determine the conductivity type of a semiconductor. Conductivity type means that the given semiconductor is of N type or of P type. And this method is a very widely used method. Now, see this is a diagram or we can say that an experimental setup of a hot probe method. This is a semiconductor and a two rod. We can say that a two metal probes are inserted in this semiconductor sample. This is a semiconductor sample and two metal rod metal props are inserted in the semiconductor sample and these rods are made up of stainless steel or of nickel and this is a multimeter which is connected between these two probes now one probe there are two probes so from these two one probe is set at the temperature of 80 degrees celsius means 80 degrees celsius means this is a heated this is a heated metal probe and the temperature of this probe is at a very low temperature means it, we can say that it is at cold cold or this is at room temperature now the metal probe which is heated or which is at a higher temperature is connected to the positive terminal of this multimeter this is what this is multimeter so the metal probe which is heated or whose temperature is high is connected to the positive terminal of multimeter and the metal probe which is at the room temperature is connected to the negative terminal of a multimeter okay so uh, this is the basic setup of a hot probe test now if this semiconductor sample suppose this is a semiconductor sample and if this semiconductor sample is of n type material of what if this is of n type material then this multimeter shows the positive reading and if this uh, semiconductor sample is of p type material then this multimeter will show the negative reading now let's see the explanation that how semiconductor sample become n type or p type now see if when we connect this high temperature metal probe with the semiconductor and with the this multimeter this hot uh, metal uh, the metal probe which is high temperature it heats the semiconductor sample means its temperature is high so there is some transfer of temperature from this to semiconductor sample and then it heats the semiconductor sample and the due to this the electron which is in this semiconductor sample the kinetic energy of this electron is increased so if the if this semiconductor is of n type then electron will this electron will move away from the hot probe means this electron move away from the hot probe leaving a positive charge it leaves a positive charge region of donors in the semiconductor sample and this hot probe will become positive with respect to this cold metal probe so the current will move from this high metal probe to the low metal probe in this direction the current will move so this is when the semiconductor sample is n type now if the semiconductor sample is of p type then the direction of current will be reversed means current flow will be reversed so this poly polarity of this probe indicates that the semiconductor sample is of n type or of p type okay now there is a disadvantage of this hot point probe measurement is that it is not applicable to semiconductor in which the electron electron and the hole concentration is nearly equal means uh, the semiconductor in which the electron and hole concentration are nearly equal this method is not applicable then in these type of cases the material means a semiconductor material which has the higher electron mobility which has higher electron mobility will be of n type so guys these were the about hot point probe method 
सो गाइज इफ यू हैव अंडरस्टूड दिस वीडियो देन प्लीज डोंट फॉरगेट टू लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब द चैनल थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग द वीडियो